Top of the morning to you guys. Um, just figured I'd do a little video uh, we're at Wolf's Den uh, Campground uh, in Connecticut uh, camping. And uh, I figured I'd do a little review of this campground for you guys. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. And uh, I'll start showing you some of the stuff that there is to do. Alright. Stay tuned. Hit that like and subscribe button if you would. Take care. My buddy's rig right there. Good. What the hell are you doing? I'm making my coffee. It's 10 a.m. 100 degrees out. 10 a.m. 100 degrees out. It's hot outside. Top of the morning. Top of the morning to you. I got my coffee. Uh, he's slacking. He's still making his. All right. So uh, we made it over to the play area here. So you got a nice little pavilion here if you want to have a picnic with your family in the shade. Pretty nice little uh, play set for the kids. Nice rubber mat to keep them uh, from getting hurt. Pretty nice. Benches for the grown-ups to sit on and watch the youngins. You got a pretty nice uh, swimming pool. Oh. Water is a little bit on the cold side <clears throat> compared to other campgrounds we've been at. Uh, it starts off at three feet down there. And it's up to six feet right over here. Uh, a little colder than you know some of the campgrounds we've been at, but nice swimming pool. Right, I'm gonna walk over to the basketball courts over there. I gotta show you that's the uh, camping store over there and a little mini golf set um, for the kids to play some pup pup mini golf. That's the rec hall. That big red building over there. That's the um, where the bathrooms are. The showers and they got uh, uh, like an arcade in there for the kids. <clears throat> rules for the playground and then over here is a uh, nice little basketball area um, I know my son's been over here playing basketball an awful lot having a good old time he's loving the hoops <clears throat> they got horseshoes in the back over there um, not sure what that thing is directly in front of us and that wall over there I think it's got something to do with that ball hanging um, not exactly sure what that is, to be honest with you. Then they got this uh, Gaga ball. Um, <clears throat> it's another one. <clears throat> excuse me. That's another one of those things. I'm not honestly sure what that is. Um, never uh, played that before, so not bad. <clears throat> excuse me. Pretty nice little campground. This is, you know, pretty much all the uh, fun stuff for the kids. Um, campground's got a fishing lake way down in the back. There's laundry on site. Um, it's not bad. Um, I, I definitely like the campground. Uh, I've been here several times over the years. Um, definitely some things I didn't like. Um, you have to let them know the day before that you need your sewer dumped but nobody ever told me that um so i had to pay a emergency fee for it which you know i wasn't very happy about but um uh you know and obviously you know stuff's just kind of expensive in general inside the stores and whatnot but that's everywhere so all right um we'll be back
Alright guys, so uh, all said and done, we, um, uh, Wolstein Campground, it wasn't bad, um, from a 1 to 5 star rating, I would say probably between a, a 3 and a 4, um, uh, I was disappointed that they didn't have, um, sewer hookups as big as that campground was, and, and, you know, they didn't tell me to, that you had to reserve the uh, sewer dump um, the day before. So they whacked me uh, an emergency fee to dump one day. And then then I had to pay a second time in the course of a week to dump the black water tank. And uh, just didn't think that was, you know, really cool. And I don't even think the guy really dumped a whole lot when he was doing it. Because um, it still always showed half full. So, But all in all, it was a good trip. It's a nice campground. Um, I would recommend going there. Uh, all said and done. Take care now.